Hello students, in today's video we are going to discuss the topic of drug tachyphylaxis. This video is 11th in the series of videos on general pharmacology. Now rapid decrease in response to a drug after its repeated administration is called as tachyphylaxis. So in other words we can say tachyphylaxis is rapid development of acquired tolerance. Now, tachyphylaxis can occur suddenly after a single dose or after few doses of the drug administered over a very short period of time. So, when a drug is taken repeatedly after a single dose or sometimes after few doses, suddenly the response to the drug reduces. That is, the effect to the drug reduces and this is called as tachyphylaxis. Another very important point, unlike tolerance in tachyphylaxis, this reduced response to the dose of drug does not increase even after increasing the dose of drug. So, higher dose of a drug is unable to produce increase in the response in tachyphylaxis. Tachyphylaxis usually occurs with indirectly acting drugs like aphidrine, amphetamine, tyramine, etc. Now let's understand the phenomenon of tachyphylaxis with the help of an example of a drug that is aphidrine. Now aphidrine is sympathomimetic. It increases blood pressure. So aphidrine is indicated in the treatment of clinically significant hypotension produced perioperatively. That means it is used in the treatment of fall in the blood pressure produced before, after and during the surgery. Look at this figure. It explains the mechanism of action of aphidrine. That is how aphidrine increases in blood pressure and what causes tachyphylaxis. Now this is a presynaptic adrenergic neuron and this is the effector cell. That is a cell where norepinephrine or noradrenaline produces its effect. Now this structure is a vesicle. Now norepinephrine that is NE is stored here. Now norepinephrine is a catecholamine. It increases blood pressure primarily by acting on blood vessels and by acting on the cardiac tissue. Now NET NET refers to norepinephrine transporters. Now these norepinephrine transporters transport norepinephrine from the synapse to the adrenergic neuron and from the adrenergic uh, neuron to the synapse. Now aphidrine shown here in the red color enters the adrenergic neuron by utilizing nor epinephrine transporters. Now further after entering the adrenergic neuron, this aphidrine, it displaces nor epinephrine from the vesicles into the cytoplasm. And from the cytoplasm, nor epinephrine is released into the synaptic cleft. Now aphidrine acts directly as well as indirectly. Now primarily aphidrine acts indirectly. An increase in blood pressure by aphidrine is mediated by this release of norepinephrine from the vesicles. Now, aphidrine also uh, directly stimulates alpha and beta receptors. Now, stimulation of alpha and beta receptors increase blood pressure. Now, very important to understand that aphidrine depletes norepinephrine stores and synthesis of new norepinephrine is unable to match its rate of depletion. Now, a few doses of aphidrine deplete norepinephrine stores and once the stores are depleted, response to aphidrine reduces. Now, since norepinephrine stores are depleted, reduced response to aphidrine cannot be increased by increasing its dose and this results in tachyphylaxis. Now other mechanisms that produce tachyphylaxis are slow dissociation of drug from its receptors 
then desensitization or down regulation of receptors that is reduction in the number of receptors another reason for tachyphylaxis can be compensatory homeostatic adaptations that is the body adopts compensatory mechanisms and oppose the action of drug so this is in brief on the concept of tachyphylaxis if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video